could pay $50 for these chocolate covered strawberries, but I'll show you how to make them for about five. I'm just gonna take my chocolate and shortening, place it in a bowl, set it on top of a pot with some simmering water. That's your double boiler. You're gonna cook this, stirring occasionally until it's smooth. The shortening is key because that's what's gonna help the chocolate harden. It's taking every ounce of self-control I have not to lick this. You just wanna do this until the chocolate just melts and is silky smooth. Once that happens, go ahead and take it off. Besides your strawberries being super dry, you wanna make sure they're also room temperature. If they're straight out of the fridge, as they come to room temperature, they're gonna start sweating and then the chocolate won't stick and it'll be a big mess. I'm gonna use a toothpick to help dip them. I like to leave a little of the red exposed. Let the excess drip off. And then I'm just gonna place them on wax paper. You wanna leave the pretty side facing up. You see how easy these are for you to do yourself and a whole lot cheaper than you buying them from a grocery store or a bakery. You don't wanna refrigerate these right after you dip them. You just wanna let them cool at room temperature and they're naturally gonna harden back up. All it takes is about 30 minutes and we're gonna have perfect chocolate covered strawberries. We're talking three ingredients. The simplest treats are sometimes the tastiest. It's just nothing like it. My favorite way to enjoy fruit is when it's covered in chocolate. And that's a wrap.